Problems, problems, problems. Upon problems. Upon problems. Upon problems. Problems upon problems upon problems. The Come on. Successfully posted. Posted, posted. Okay, yes, is up. Why is it not connecting to my hearing aids? Come on, connect. Perfect. Now it's connected. Okay. I should be able to try to get the game to work now. Sorry, everyone, that it's taking so long. Technology hates me. Of course, I was running late to begin with today, and now... Come on. Come on, game. Load up for me. It's not that hard. Mm. Yay, there we go. Perfection. Excuse me. All right, just going to give everybody a little time to filter in now that Stuff is kind of working. Let's see what's in this box. There's a box was delivered while I was out.
Oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. I was not expecting this next week. That's okay. That's great. That's perfect. That's wonderful. Because it is nothing that was needed. You just pop that open and make sure that there is yet a third box inside the second box. Ah, oh, fucking amazing. I just need to make damn sure that I can get out of scent is in the appropriate condition. Oh my goodness, this is perfect! Y'all is gonna love it. Jelly is going to love this, and I am definitely buying one for myself, too. So that'll be fun to show her when I see her tomorrow. Is Little Witch in the Woods a horror game? I don't think so. It looks like it's a visual novel. Let me pull up the Steam page here. I'm pretty sure it's a horror novel. I haven't, I'm not, it's not a horror game. It's a visual novel, I'm pretty sure. Um, let's see. It is early access right now. The Little Witch's Life is a Daily The Little Witch's Daily Life as an Apprentice. In the Lucerne or two, witches live together. They built witch house in very area in various areas and have been sending their apprentice witches there. The apprentice witches must go to the one of the witch's houses and help nearby village and vill villagers. If you complete your apprenticeship successfully, you can become a formal witch. Become Ellie the Apprentice Witch and experience her daily life. Let me grab the link to the Steam store page. Copy and paste. I'm pretty sure it's not a horror novel. I keep saying novel. It's not a horror game. It is It is a visual novel. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm, I'm running late. I dropped off boxes to Shell, and you know how we are when we get together. I just, we didn't stop talking for the next two hours. I was only supposed to spend an hour and then get home but of course not of course not Let's 
see. Okay, that does not have a driver obsession like I was told it does. So... I don't get to use my new vape today. I need to buy some shatter for it first. That's okay. I'll just use the old one today. Yeah, it seems like a cute sort of fetch quest type game. Okay. Let me check the settings. The sound is good to me right now, but all I really here is the train so <laughs> shelly has played it i know shelly is into some horror but more like true crime and ghost videos than like super scary horror games i mean we play phasmo together so take my assessment of shelly as you will <laughs> But I think if this was super scary, I don't think she would have enjoyed it as much. And this is in early access still, by the way. I wonder where the carrot was. You're still thinking about that? We found everything except the carrot. I think it's good that we never found the carrot. There was something off about that legendary carrot soup recipe. I just realized we never checked the men's restroom. Yes, there are just some lines you don't cross. But we searched the whole school save that place, but we never found the carrot. That means the carrot was in the men's restroom. A carrot in the men's restroom? What an odd sense of humor. I should write Jenny a letter asking her to look through the men's restroom. Can't you ask Will instead? It's the men's restroom, after all. Nope, that coward finds it. He'll take it to the teacher bawling like before. Keep in mind that if it weren't for Will, you'd be in jail right now. Oh dear, what did Ellie do? And shell! Subnautica gets uh, pretty scary when some critter grabs your ass. True, but Subnautica is kind of meant to be a little bit scary. It's meant to have an air of suspense and an, oh no, is the sea monster going to grab my ass today? <laughs> or six feet under. What did you do, Ellie? Would you consort them? That's true. I'm so bored. It's a flashback. Flashbacks are supposed to be boring. I see why no one else wants to ride this god-awful train. It's boring enough to drive anyone insane. Hey, a ticket for this train costs 500 pies. And it's stop the witch's house in High Lion, where all roads lead to. You're second place at the school for witches. Well, whatever. I don't care about any of that. How am I second place anyway? I even sneaked into the Forbidden Room twice. Three times. I even looked through the forbidden books in the hidden library in the school basement. I still remember that horned rabbit that was as big as a house. No wonder Will started crying. So how did I manage second place? I simply didn't want to lose. Cut it out and sit quietly. This is a train only for those who want to succeed. The witch's house might be dark and damp, but it's only three years of your life. I'm fine. Enough with the lecture. As a matter of fact, I'm disturbed with the thought of taking off my shoes when I get off the train. Shoes? For what? I wonder what kind of trouble you'll get into when we arrive. I won't. I won't fool around the moment I get there. I didn't know you had self-awareness. And don't you know about the terrible city of rules that is High Lion? The first thing to do is take your shoes off as soon as you get off the train. This is my first time hearing something like that. Oh no, she's been taken in by somebody. <laughs> mm. 
You do more damage to your own sub than the Leviathans do because you can't drive for shit. Oh well, neither can I. In video games anyway. I'm a decent driver in, in physical space. What she does in her spare time is no one's business. <laughs> Listen to Ellie. Do you really want to question her? No, not really. You have the video muted? That's fine. You can turn on the captions um, while I'm muted so that you can like read what I'm saying on the TV. Oh wait. I heard that Jenny's older sister was wearing strappy boots when she first arrived at High Lion, so she almost couldn't get off because she had to unstrap them completely. See? Mum bought me new shoes as well. Didn't Arya just mean to encourage you? No, Dad also did say the comfortable boots would be better. That's strange. It's true. I'll also ask other people if you don't believe me. Keyword gained, lace-up boots. It's a pain to wear lace-up boots if you're boarding the train to High Lion. The food was really delicious, though. Your face was bright only when you were eating after getting on the train. The omelette that was overflowing with cheese and crab meat as soon as it was cut. The pink salmon steak seasoned with fresh lemon-scented kiwi sauce. Even the slightly frozen strawberries and peach sorbet with whipped cream. Without this meal, I would have jumped off the train sooner. It's definitely different from the food you buy at the store at the school for witches. I ate that to collect the Great Witch Series cards. I got scolded because I was caught keeping the card and throwing away the bread. Don't do that again in High Lion. I'll definitely try the Nubicula cupcakes there. And that's if I get to Highline before I get bored to death. Hello, Mr. Bartender. Hey, want a drink? No, I don't drink alcohol. Do you have any tea? Of course. And then I'll have a cup of that. The tea has alcohol, though. Is that okay? But then that's just alcohol. Alcohol with tea. Potato, potato. And then can I ask you a question instead of a drink? Anytime. You can initiate conversations using the keywords at your disposal. Okay. Something on your mind? Can I take a look at your shoes? My shoes? What for? From what I've heard, you have to take off your shoes before you step foot into High Lion Station. You work at the train, so you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, that story. Absolutely. Plenty of confused passengers who were all dressed up for High Lion. If you're wearing shoes of that sort, I'd advise you to untie them in advance. Oh, ye who reaches High Lion, look first upon thy shoes. Or so that's how the saying goes. See, Virgil, I was right. The preppy boots Mom gave me as a present tell me just as much. Those are some nice boots. Right. My mom bought them for me when she found out I was graduating magna cum laude. It sure is amazing you're graduating magna cum laude despite your antics. You gotta keep up with that attitude of yours. <laughs> Hearing the two of you speak, I have a feeling being boredom won't be a problem. Nope. It's so boring. Aren't you bored, Mr. Bartender? I've gotten used to it. But it's certainly gotten less boring thanks to you and your hat. You've been listening. Other guests would have heard about your arson at the school for witches by now. I didn't set it on fire. Really? Uh, sure, there was a fire, but that was because I shook a potion five times and made it explode. Potions must be shaken three times only. Even a non-witch like me knows that. Exactly. How can you not try shaking it four times having heard that? But you said you shook it five times. Nothing happened on the fourth time, so I shook it once more. An inquisitive mind. 
But you've already got the makings of a fine witch. Thanks for the praise. I don't think he was praising you. I should be on my way then. Alright, have a fun trip. You can't act like a country bumpkin once you're in the city, got it? You're not going to ask just one person, are you? Why? One is never enough, you know. Even the greatest detectives never reach a conclusion based on a single piece of evidence. Hmm, you have a point. Ordinary passenger, really? Hello. Oh, hello. Am I disturbing you? Negative. What's the issue? Oh, I want to ask you about something. You're on the way to Highland, right? Correct. Um, what's the matter? Oh, it's just that you have a very blunt way of speaking. Oh my, old habits die hard, especially when, in, when one is deep in thought. I can barely speak today. They don't- they should show on mobile! I've used them on mobile! One second while I figure out the captions for Shell. I know the captions work in mobile, I've just got to figure out how to turn them on. Because they are automatically yeah, on for me. Mobile. I've just got to figure out how to turn them on. Let me see. Because they're showing up automatically on mine. But I definitely have captions on mobile. Let's see. Yeah, even in landscape mode I have them. I can't find how to actually get the settings up though. So, not sure what's going on here. Okay, so it's in settings.
there we go. Well, I used to be a soldier, Miss Lori. So, what brings you here? Beat. Since I'm not much of a talker, I don't have anything to say in particular. You live in High Lion? Correct. I own a flower shop there. Wow. They up boots. Before that, what? You've been staring at my feet for a while. Is there some kind of problem? I was going to ask anyway. Isn't it uncomfortable to wear such strappy boots? It takes some time to put them on and take them off, but I'm used to it. Then it will be hard for you when you arrive at High Lion. What? what are you talking about? I mean, you have to take your shoes off when you get off. What? What? Oh, you were kidding? I'm sorry, I'm rather dull when it comes to things like this. Kenny! It's a bartender! The mystery has been solved. Did I make some kind of mistake? No, no, I just realized that I was deceived. think of it, I remember now. It's a joke to make fun of people who visit Highline for the first time. Stop. You don't have to kill me twice by giving me that much detail. I'm sorry. Are you holding back laughter? No, I'm not. He's trying so hard to be considerate of you. Don't ask twice. Virgil, I hate you even more now. You don't need to be too upset. When I went there for the first time in the past, I was also tricked by a colleague and took him off. That doesn't comfort me at all. I'm sorry. You're hilarious, Mystic. <laughs> How do you feel? Why are you asking me that? Your molars might fall out. Relax a bit and tell me. I can't believe Jenny deceived me. That's what siblings are for! As long as it's just gentle ribbing. There's a reason why she's your friend. Now go back to your seat quietly and wait till we've arrived. We still have three more days to go. Well, that's going to be extremely boring, isn't it? <laughs> Up ahead is the engine room. Small talk is forbidden during operation.
He's bored. Mm. I'm just gonna throw some chips into my mouth. Because I've literally barely ate today. This is torture! Stay out the window if you're so damn bored. Yeah, look outside. Look at that mountain. It must be hiding a cave with strange pillars, statues, and a giant door. Sounds like the prologue to a story where you awaken a terrible demon. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Virgil, shut up and look out the window. At the summit of the mountain. And there's a gigantic shining tree at the top. A gigantic shining tree! <laughs> Why is it shining? Does it have luminous flowers? It must be beautiful up close. Give it up. This train won't stop for two days. I want to get out now. I hope we crash. Fat chance of that happening, so just stay bored. It's going to crash, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, chips from yesterday finished. After all, you signed up for three years of even more boredom. Aren't there any crocodile plants nearby? Nope. What about boa constrictors? This isn't a jungle. Train robbers? This isn't the Wild West. It's a healing game, remember? Hey, a boa constrictor! The correct line is what's going on. There's no station here. Why are we stopping? Not sure. Maybe there's something wrong with the train. I doubt it's a boa constrictor, though. Mm. I don't care if it's not a boa constrictor. Please just say there's some massively critical issue. Please, please. We apologize for the inconvenience. A critical issue, perhaps? The train cannot continue its journey due to a critical issue. Yay! Attention, the train will stop until tomorrow morning and the departure time. Can we go outside? Will likely be announced tomorrow. We will depart immediately if possible. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. In the meantime, please avoid wandering too far from the train. Let's go! I'm not sure if you remember, but... Of course I remember! The shining tree is at the peak! No, not that! We have to get back by tomorrow morning! Then we should get going. Excuse me. It's buffin' time! <laughs> it is, it is indeed. Wow, it's so dark. If you're scared, we can go back to the train. I love it. Let's hurry. Yay!
it's a hill. It won't be easy to climb. Look over there. The vines are hanging on the hill. I'll be able to climb that much. Go, go, Power Rangers! You mighty butt fin Power Rangers! <laughs> sorry, not sorry. You know I had to. It's a secret passageway, Virgil. I don't think it's a secret or a passageway. I bet there's a path beyond here. What's this? Looks like a little honey pumpkin. What's that? It's a type of weed that grows in forested areas. Mm, weed. The vines grow so fast that you can never get rid of them by hand. Oh, like scotch broom or English ivy that we have around here. You must find the nucleus hidden somewhere to get rid of it. Then I guess we can also get rid of this if we find the nucleus. Or just return to the train quietly. That can't happen. Let's go look for the nucleus. It must be nearby. Since the nucleus gives off light when you touch the vine, you'll be able to find it. Found it. I think. Got it. Time to explore. Please don't use the word explore. That word gives me anxiety. No thanks to your mother. Good, I can sprint. Oh, there's a well up there. I wonder if there's something that I can... The shining tree is at the peak of the mountain, so go quickly if you want to see it. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I found witch flower.
We don't have the right chalk. Okay. Whatever. I'm trying to go quickly, but I keep getting um, interrupted. Mountain! That's a bad thing, right? I always hated mountains. My leather gets worn out from all the wind. Oh, bite me. So many things blocking the path. This must be a forest with many secrets. What's this? Looks like a barrier made with a witch pattern. Witch pattern? Is there a witch here? There was, or. And do you know how it works? School hammered it into my head. Shouldn't be an issue as long as it's drawn well. supposed to do with it okay wow it's the gigantic shining tree the same one we saw from the train and this is a bitter grape tea tree i don't think the tree is the one that's shining check this out virgil there's a ton of butterflies on it you're right the butterflies seem to be glowing these are blue moon butterflies the butterflies give off a subtle moonlight. The light from these butterflies has the same power as actual moonlight. And that's why strange things always happen around these butterflies. Be beautiful. A gigantic tea tree with butterflies glowing with moonlight. It's not just beautiful. It's an extremely fascinating sight to behold. Isn't this a pretty magnificent discovery? Did you know that those two are rare creatures? What? So what about it? The fact that those two are together is amazing. Which two are together? What about those two being together? They're usually raised together artificially to get moonflower and lucerine or two. It's uncommon for them to be together naturally like this. Anyway, we did find something, right? I guess so. I'll have to write a letter to the school later. Let's look around a bit more. Fill up the codex and all, right? Just don't be late. We must return to the train by tomorrow morning. Okay. Let's go back the way we came up. There might be other strange things. Where are the two that are together, apparently? Apparently two together somewhere. But I don't see where there are two. Oh well. I don't think I'll get a wink of sleep on the train. I wonder if there's anywhere I can sleep for tonight. What about the ground? The dirt and rock should make for a nice bed. That's not funny, Virgil. Look, the blue moon butterfly we saw at the peak is here too. You might as well collect some for study purposes. You think I could just sneak up and grab it? Wait, do you remember what Mr. Gravier said? Death lives under the bed. No, not that. Draw it before you touch it. That's right. Okay. Approach it and use the quill to draw it in the encyclopedia.
Okay. Now open the encyclopedia with that button. Cute. Now, do you see why you can't catch any right now? Hmm. So you collect them using a butterfly net. I don't have one right now. Not much you can do now, then. But I want to do it right now. Getting to the witch's house in Highline is more important. Hmm. Let's go back down now. There's got to be something else that's fun. I'll take a look in the second headset. Okay, can't get to that right now either. Oh, wow! Ellie, let's get back to the train. It's a kitty, though! Look at that, Virgil! A shining white cat? I've never seen anything like that before. Ellie, we have to... Let's go after the creature! I'm gonna miss the train, aren't I? I think the cat dropped something and left. What is this? Looks like witch chalk. The thing you use to draw things like a pattern. It looks a little different than the one we were using at school. It's just a different packaging. Mm -hmm. Alright. Perfect. Witch's garden. Where did the cat go? Look, Virgil, there's a house. That's a witch's house, isn't it? It looks pretty old. I guess we can talk to the master witch here and stay here for a while. It doesn't look like there are people inside. If there's no one, I might stay for a while. Isn't it natural for an apprentice witch to be at the witch's house? That's true, but... Oh no, I missed a tear A! Ah! Sound alert me next time. Shell, I am definitely allergic to carpet beetles. Like, my arms are swelling up now. And I know I don't have carpet beetles here. Eh. I'm swelling up where I got bit at your house. <laughs> it could be an abandoned witch's house. Because the witch administration can't figure out everything. Alright, let's go inside. It really is an abandoned witch's house. Taking that into consideration, it looks okay. Although it's not that clean. 
since the witch's house is managed on her own. It doesn't seem to be in a very good condition, considering how dirty it is. But the bed looks fine. I guess I can just sleep here. Well, since the witch's house is a public institution, it's okay to sleep one night or so. And it's better than sleeping outside. The house is messy. We'll just sleep for one day. Who cares? I'm going to care when we miss this train. Aw, cute dream. What's with that face? You slept on a nice fluffy bed. Yes, but I dreamt that I was sleeping on the train. All that effort not to sleep on the train, only to dream of just that. You should have slept on the train. No, that's not it. I slept very well, actually. I can always hear the sound of the train, though. Wait, isn't that actually the sound of the train? What, really? Is it taking off already? Let's hurry. Oh no! We're gonna miss it. the train it looks like that bird was imitating train sounds but where's the train it probably went to High Lion. then what do we do now let's look around the area I'm sure we'll find some clues why are you so calm I've been through much worse with your mom is that thing it's called the gaga bird they say it's a bit insane quiet i don't want to hear it it's your fault for oversleeping and don't blame the gaga bird fine whatever just be quiet okay so i can't chase the train down the track so i was gonna try A letter! How nice of them to leave a letter behind. Let's see, I think it's from the bartender on the train. You're probably shocked to see that the train is gone. A witch suddenly appeared in the middle of the night and got rid of the prickly vines. And they said they can't wait because the train was already delayed, so we had to leave. But don't worry, the train will come back and there's a village nearby where I used to live. You can just spend some time there. There should be a sign in the forest, so take a look and go find the village. When you arrive at the village, please send in Eaton Arn in my regards. Bartender. That place we saw earlier must be a village. Are you even a little upset that we missed the train, Ellie? It's okay, since there's a village, right? I guess we can just wait there. How about cleaning the witch's house? You never know what might happen. Also, try checking if a village really exists. Okay. Please try not to sound so excited. We missed the train. Right. You heard me, right? Well then, I might as well add more to the encyclopedia now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna bring Shell some the Animatious Earth um, next time I see her. Because I definitely, definitely got bit at her place. And it's not her fault. That house is just 
nasty and impossible to keep clean. Not upset with anybody. Just life. I'm definitely having an allergic reaction to the carpet beetles, so... But we can't let the new apartment get him. Because we're both allergic to him. Squishy chub. It's cute. are gross too no that it's not even their fault it's just it's the house it lends itself to collecting dust and bugs it is entirely not anybody's fault that there were carpet beetles probably likely a previous tenant got the place infested and they're so hard to get rid of once you have them you know i'm looking for the sign post that I saw before. There it is. I want to see where the village is. Which is this? The village is to the right. Okay. It's blocked by the honey pumpkins. This is the village, but the little honey pumpkin is in the way. Let's go to the witch's house and find a way. And also clean up. Oh. Yeah, nobody likes cleaning, but it's part of life. Let's get rid of the weeds first. It's a bin. Nothing here. Clean up, clean up, clean up, clean up. And this is taking a while. Come on, take it. I think I got up them. It's nice to see that it's clean. Now it's time to tidy up the house. Right. I'm 
Kelly, it's a quest mark. All I see is dust and cobwebs that we have to clean up. Exactly! Let's find something useful while cleaning. Let's focus on what we're doing now. I am trying to clean up. A notebook might be useful later. I wonder where the witch is. The one who lived here. This place is probably very old. She must be eating and living well somewhere in the Lucerine or two. <clears throat> she really messed up the house. It reminds me of your room. My room was cleaner than this. That might be so from a dust standpoint. A witch bookshelf. Technically, it's a bookshelf that the witch was using. That's the same as a witch bookshelf. I'm not going to read, though. I'm tired of books. A poisonous mushroom is better than a witch who doesn't read books. What does that mean? Because a poisonous mushroom kills just one person. Oh, stop nagging. I read enough books at school. Hmm. Witch history. The Twelve Plants. Fun book of plants. Gardening for witches. There are so many books on plants. I guess a witch who used to research plants was living here. I should store any books I get in here. All done cleaning. Also messy in front of the desk over there, Ellie. Stop bossing me around like a teacher. I finally managed to get out of school. There's some dust over there, Ellie. Don't leave food behind, Ellie. I told you not to go inside the principal's office, Ellie. You should have listened. Oh, this is a witch elevator. And that's why you have to listen to the teachers. Let's hurry up and go down. What if there's a scary monster? You think so? Oh, I'm so excited. I pressed A. Oh, mess. Look at this, Virgil. This must be the dispensary. We can probably make potions with the proper tools. And we should definitely do some cleaning. Wow, cleaning again. Well, that's life. The mess doesn't go away unless you clean it the fuck up. An extractor. We used it so many times at school. It was a slightly smaller one, though. It'd be hard to use. Look at the glass bottle underneath. Oh, that's true. It's broken. Ew, I'll need a friendly toad, at least. I'll need to get a glass bottle first in order to use this. You need to at least fix the extractor in order to make potions. All right, let's go to the village first. Let's look for one. <laughs> this box looks pretty useful. I can put stuff in here when my pockets are full. A roaster? Ugh, I hate this thing. You have to put in the ingredients and just wait. It's awful. Can't you simply put them in and do something else while you're waiting? It seems to be in bad condition, however. Really? Oh yes, there's no handle for winding the spring. Where would I get a roaster handle? I don't need the roaster since it's not needed for the basic recipes. And there should be something when you get to the village. Yeah, the village comes first. By the way, there's nothing normal here. It would be rather strange to be normal when it's dirty like this. A spilled bottle, scribbled paper, and a book. What a mess. Just brush off the dust. Just brushing off the dust might take a lifetime. What's this? Lunar's oil? It looks like a recipe for potion. I guess it was used by the witch who was here. It reads a potion with the power of moon. The ingredients are moonflower and phoenix feather. Only very expensive materials are used. I'll use it someday. Let's have it ready for now. There's also something underneath. Where? Oh, you're right. Hmm, I don't know what kind of text this is. You learned it at school. It's the ancient witch language. You mean I learned how to read these strange symbols? Your score wasn't bad either. 
I don't remember anything. Shall we take a look anyway? Mm, looks like a recipe. It seems like moon's something. I have no idea. I got a headache. Take a look if you remember later. Yeah, I should put it away and revisit it later. This desk would be nice to use as a workbench later. There's no use for it now. Yay. Wow, this is a pretty good cauldron. I think it was made by the Blue Lightning Workshop. Its style is very traditional. I've only ever used the cheap cauldrons at school. Finally, I get to use a good one. Do you remember how to use one? Of course. Expertly processed ingredients, the exact heat intensity, and the right ladling technique. And at last, at last, you'll end up with a proper potion. Yay. I actually liked teacher Olivia. Still, the cauldron looks fine. You'll be able to make a potion if you have the ingredients. The machine tools are in bad condition, though. Since there are some discarded ingredients, well, let's make the potion we need using them for now. It looks like something dropped on the floor. Do I need to sweep the floor too? Grab all these spilled ingredients. This is a potion ingredient, isn't it? You've used them in school countless of times. Are witches usually this sloppy? Sloppy or not, they're careful with their ingredients. Then I guess the witch that lived here was really sloppy. Or she was in a hurry. Why? Beats me. I'm all done cleaning. We can make potions now. It would be hard to make properly because the machine tools are broken. Since there were ingredients on the ground, let's try making with them for now. There was a little honey pumpkin in front of the village. The stubborn weed elimination potion should do it, right? It's a weed terminator potion. Whatever. Check the recipe in the encyclopedia. Alright, let's do it. I am trying to open the encyclopedia. I need one squishy chub fur and one witch flower. Fire to stage four and do not stir. Squishy chub and witch flower. The Stubborn Weed Extermination Potion is complete! It's a potion for removing weeds. Anyway, it's ready. Then well, let's go throw it at the little honey pumpkin. You must use it carefully since there are no more ingredients. Okay, don't worry. Throw it at the little honey pumpkin and make sure to remove the nucleus as well. Because Weed Terminator Potion is just a temporary measure.
I can now save and load from the cabinet. I hope this will be enough. Pass by quickly and remove the nucleus. Perfect. This isn't a village. Look over there, Ellie. It's a prickly vine this time. It's so huge and thick. And that's what she said. Hello! How are you doing today? <laughs> welcome, welcome. It's been a while. Take a look around here. Okay, I can take a look around here. Hello, do you live in the town? Nature is so beautiful. What? Aren't the trees beautiful? Their green leaves are so pretty. Oh, sure. Nature is so breathtaking. You must love nature. How can you not? Okay, I'll be back. We'll walk under the blue sky and experience nature. She must really love nature. So much that she can't have a conversation? You should respect her interests. I think it's more of an obsession. Something didn't feel right. You think she's cursed or something? I'm okay. I'm doing okay. Yeah. I'm glad you're doing okay, too. I hope you, I hope you sleep well when you go. A curse that doesn't allow her to talk about anything except nature? The curse of a nature lover. That doesn't make sense. There are lots of quirky witches out there. The curse lifting candy that can lift the curse should be a basic recipe. But we can't use the machining tool now. I must process what's been collected to make potion. What should I do? You picked up several ingredients at the workplace earlier, didn't you? Those would be enough to make curse lifting candy. And did you see what's next to her over there? Next to her what? It's a glass bottle that would be perfect as a glass extractor bottle. Where? Wow, you weren't kidding. All right, let's make Kirstefin candy. All right. To check on the Kirstefin candy in the book. There it is, curse lifting candy. Need to put the heat to stage three, and I need squishy fub, squishy chub fur, and maple herb extract. 
Okay. But I need to hmm. hysteria. Hmm. I need to get back to the witch's house. Okay, there now I can go through the to the butcher's house. Fire to three, and no stirring. Press and hold to craft. There we go. A curse sniffing candy. Excuse me? Excuse me, Sir Bush. Pumpkin Terrier. Interesting. Shall I give her the curse lifting candy? Or would you like to try this? May the blessings of nature be with you. Hello? Yes, hello! Am I speaking properly now? Yes, I think so. Wow, thank you so much. To hell with nature. I guess it really was a curse. I could tell that the old man I met in the western jungle was suspicious just by looking at him. Yet I simply couldn't ignore such a well-made wooden image of a monkey. After I bought it, I could only talk about praising nature. I tried to speak backwards, right, but I could only praise nature. Pure torture. I hope nature just rots and dies. Still, I'm glad that the curse was easily removed. Oh, thank you so much. My name is Aurea. How long has it been since I said my name? My name's Ellie. I'm an apprentice witch. Oh, did you come to this town to be an apprentice? I was on a train, but I got off for a moment and it left without me. Oh dear. I was about to enter the town, but it's blocked off by some prickly vines. Yeah, when did oatmeal cream pies become so small? I remember when they used to be bigger than my palm. Now they're like... Ugh, I could eat that in three bites. I'm so disappointed by my dream snack choice for today. Damn nature. Thankfully, we found an empty witch's house nearby, so I've been staying there. An empty... Oh yes, there's a witch's house here. That's good. I have business in the village too, but the mine stopped me. Nature be damned. Capitalism has been shrinking food. Has been shrinking foods. True.
Can I ask you a favor then? Not a favor, but a fair price. What do you need? <laughs> the tools were broken when I was trying to use the dispensary at the witch's house. Do you have... Excuse me. <clears throat> do you have any tools or parts? What kind of tools or parts do you need? I need a glass bottle for the extractor and a roaster handle for, for winding the roaster. Wait a minute. I'll look for them. Sure. But Ellie, do you have any money? I do. Mom gave me pocket money when I came out. You think you'll be able to buy witch's tools with just enough pocket money to buy a snack or two? Is that so? What if I don't have enough money? Since you have tools, make and sell potions or something. You can also sell candies now. Only if there are people to buy them. I found it. Take this. A glass extractor bottle. How much is it? Oh, never mind. This is return for breaking my curse. Wow, thank gosh. Unfortunately, I don't have any roaster handle for the roaster. I see. Will you be staying at the village? If so, I'll bring it next time. I'll sell it at a proper price then, however. Good, please bring it then. Okay, I'll write roaster handle in the memo. Oh, and take this too. A recipe for healing candy. Nice. Capitalism has been fecking everybody in the butt without lube. Yep. Butt spot. Butt spot. Butt spot, my dear. You cannot feck a butt without a butt. <laughs> Since the price for the bottle earlier wasn't enough, I'll give you this as well. Thank you. Sure, come back next time. No, I'll be able to fix the extractor. But are you really going to stay in this village? I should, until the train comes. Really? I have no choice. No, I mean, are you really going to leave when the train comes? That... I'll decide when that happens. Let's just fix the extractor first. All right. Oh, sorry. I just realized I wasn't reading out loud. Now that the extractor has been fixed, you'll be able to make basic potions from recipes. And what's your plan? If you make weed terminator potion, you can get rid of the little honey pumpkin. I'll be able to go to the places that have been blocked. A little more. Yeah, so, the forest. Let's look through the forest. There must be something. That's what I'm saying! Actually, I just realized. I do need to make some weed terminator potion.
There we go. I wanted to pull that back out. Because I still need to read it. Well, I'll deal with that memo later. Crow! A crow? Witch! It spoke? It's a witch's crow! Oh, it's a witch's crow! The witch returns! The witch returns! And this is my first time coming here, though! The witch returns! Not exactly a listener, is he? Goods and services! Goods and services! Witch's catalog! The witch's catalog! I've always wanted to try it out. You need to head towards High Lion, the young lady. But I can't just starve until I reach the village. After I find the village, I'm going to make sure I try it out before I go to High Lion. Limited time only! Register now for a gift! Try the witch's catalog! Try the witch's catalog! And they're handing out gifts as well! Plus, it's limited time only! Gift! Multi-purpose glue, kitchen accessories, a spark. In any case, I need the witch's catalog. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have in a pinch. Maybe you can buy ingredients or potion recipes from them. Alright, let's register for now. Thank you! Thank you! Visit employee! Visit employee! Visit employee! When? Work finished! Work finished! Close for the day! Close for the day! So suddenly? It's not easy getting the message across to witches' crows. Hmm. And then I guess I should keep searching for the village. You never know when the witches' catalog will show up. Let's stick to the plan and find the village. Look at that! It's grown so much! It wasn't that big a while ago. That must be an adult honey pumpkin. We better get rid of it before it grows anymore. What? I'm not even a gardener. We must get rid of it to get to a new place since we haven't been behind there. I guess it can't be helped to get to the new place. I guess I should make Weed Terminator Potion. Yes, I just need... some... chub fur. Which doesn't sound dirty at all. I may have to wait until morning to get more squishy chub fur, though. Yeah, there's no more squishy chubs around here. It's too late in the day for them. Let's see. 
squishy chub. Can we caught my hand? Okay. You're not sleepy yet? How are you not sleepy yet? Pumpkin terriers can also be caught my hand. Terrier fur. Not what I was looking for, but it'll do. Yeah, I can sleep. Oh, is that a wild peach you I see? I'm out of great balls. You just woke up. Why do you look dead already? I think I had an important dream, but I can't remember it. It seemed like something important. Like the principal's sermon. That's something I don't want to think about again. Okay. I need... Squishy Chub. Hey, I have Squishy Chub fur. Squishy Chub. of squishy chub fur. This is in fact a very relaxing game. Okay, so I should be able then to make... Hang on. Stage four, no stirring. Okay.
Yay, weed terminator potion. Okay, one more. Perfect. Forest waterfall. Is that a box caught in a giant spider web? Well, that looks like something that I need to deal with. Wow, Virgil, there's someone stuck in the spider web. I think he's lost consciousness. Is he even alive? I don't know. Um, yeah! They woke up! Who? I'm Ellie. I'm an apprentice witch. A witch? Wow, this is my first time seeing an apprentice witch. It's my first time seeing someone caught in a spider web. <laughs> my name's Rubram. I live in the village with my grandma. But now I'm stuck in a big spider web. He doesn't seem to understand the gravity of his situation. A big spider web means there's a big spider nearby. <gasps> you be quiet. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I'll help you down. You have to be careful when dealing with spider webs, Ellie. It looks pretty strong. One wrong move and you'll get stuck in yourself. And then what do I do? Maple herb works best against insects. Just one maple herb should be enough. I learned that maple herb grows on cliffs. I'll bring it soon. Yeah, come back soon. I had some maple herb, actually. In my... There's the dango mango. There's the maple herb. This should work like this. Are you okay? Yeah, probably. Can you walk? Okay. Then let's go to the witch's house together.
Let's see, I think I go down this way to get back to the witch's house. Are you okay? Are you hurt? I can't walk because my legs hurt. You were, prob you were probably up there for too long. And then I'll give you a hug. I'll give you treatment at the witch's house. Okay. Isn't it heavy? Of course! Really? Just stop talking. Better to be honest than not, right? Our village is just a little further from here. But you can't pass through now because of the prickly vines. Let's go to the witch's house for now and find a way. Yeah. We're here. Wow, a witch's house. Thanks. I need to make some healing candy. Yeah, I need to read that recipe somehow. How do I... Okay, why to open inventory? Which flower and maple herb? Heat four, stir clockwise. Okay, I can manage that. I need to go get some maple flour. I thought I already had some maple flour, but I don't. There's no maple flower on that clip. Can't go there yet.
this maple herb. What's this? Okay, I have to go back to the witch's house now, but not until after I have retrieved those. My pockets must be full. Okay. The turd won't shutter yet. ever see someone in a Facebook group and they either obviously have a stick up their ass or a complete and utter bell end and you just preemptively block their super classes. Yeah, that happens. More often than I'd care to admit, actually. This is a very cute, relaxing game. I only have one witch flower. Do I have more witch flower in my cupboard? Nope, definitely out of 
Okay. I have a witch flower extract, which is fine. He's making more accusations than said I'm scared he's gonna see me again. Well, stop beaking off. Yeah, if she'd shut her fucking trap, maybe she wouldn't be getting sued for defamation because she wouldn't be defaming anybody. Please be correct. Yay, I did it right! I love it when I do things right. I don't do that often. Some people are physically incapable of shutting up when they should. Like my soon-to-be ex-husband. A candy! Yeah, it's a candy to heal your leg! Wow, thanks! It looks delicious! Oh, it is delicious! Uh, this tastes awful. It's good for your health, though. How's your leg? Well, I think I feel better. Thanks, Sally. The candy tastes awful, though. And so, how did you get caught in the spider web? I just came to the forest to play for a little bit. My time flew by, and then the giant prickly mines were covering the way. I was looking for another path when I heard the sound of a train. Oh, it must be the one I was riding. I went towards the train, and a strange bird suddenly started chasing after me. It must have been that bird, not the train. It was that bird. I went into a deep place as I was running away. Then I found a treasure map and got caught in the spider web as I was trying to pick it up. A treasure map? I saw a picture of a skeleton through the bushes. I saw in a children's book that it's a sign of pirates leaving their treasures. Shall we go check? What about the gigantic prickly vine? Oh well, we can't do much about it yet. It wouldn't hurt to try. Let's go. Ellie, can I follow you too? Wouldn't it be better to rest a little more? I'm bored since I'm at home all the time. What do you say? Okay, fine. But be careful. Okay, thanks. I think it's time to sleep first, though. Um, maybe not. At least there's no shortage of stamina, hey? I don't have the right chalk. This is... A boom potion! I even went to a hidden library because I wanted to make it. I'm so lucky to find this here. They don't normally use a skeleton design as a symbol of luck, right? And the important thing now is that I have something to blow things up with. And also something to blow up. You're super excited. Then shall we go try it right away? <laughs> Some of the people she knew can sue her. I certainly hope so. I miss this feeling. Do you plan to destroy everything on top of getting into trouble? What do you take me for? Boom Potion, don't you feel the almighty power just from the name? When in trouble, throw it. Break it if you can't have it. 
Sometimes it takes boldness to overcome a crisis. Don't you think it's strange that a boom potion was dropped in that secluded forest? Someone might have hidden it, thinking that it's treasure like Rubrum. Or someone might have spilled it. The boom potion? I don't know. The important thing now is that the boom potion is in my hands. Go boom potion! Wow, it won't even budge. It must be stronger than the secret door in the principal's office. What are these fragments coming out of it? Where? Around your feet! Look at this, Virgil. It's a prickly vine fragment. It seems to have worked a little bit. But the vines appear to have grown back pretty fast. We might be able to figure out exactly what these prickly vines are. These prickly vines aren't even in the codex. How are you going to figure that out? Hmm, well. Oh, wouldn't a person living around here know something? Let's show the fragment to someone and ask them about it. Hmm. Is this a prickly vine fragment? Fascinating. Do you happen to know something about it? No, I don't. Oh, okay. Any interesting stories? What kind of tea do I like? Aromatic tea. I like tea that has a fragrant aroma. Bird, bird flower tea is a nice aromatic one. Oh, I think it'll smell good indeed. Welcome. Do you need anything? Oh, is this a fragment of that prickly vine? Yes, that's right. Do you know something about it? No, I don't know anything about prickly vines either. But I have something that might be helpful. Something that might be helpful? Ta-da! A universal product appraisal machine. Wow! What's that? It's a tool made by some witch. With the power of the moon, of the moonstone embedded here, you can find out the identity of any object. Really? Then hurry up and try it! I don't usually do this for free, but since you lifted my curse... I'll do it for free this time. Wow, that's great! Alright, here goes. Analyzing prickly vine. Huh? What? The prickly vine fragment has disappeared! That's strange. Why did it disappear? Maybe because of a grudge against nature. No, that's not possible. And this tool just shoots moonlight and analyzes the reflected light. There are no plants that just get killed by moonlight, right? A plant that gets killed by moonlight? Mm -hmm. It seems like something's coming up in my mind. Think, Ellie. This is something you learned in school. Oh, I remember now. Avoiding the moon. There are plants that get killed by moonlight. That's right. This prickly vine definitely avoids the moon. That's why it died in the moonlight. I think I've also heard of plants like that. I'm glad the tool is working fine. Thank you! I think I can get rid of the prickly vines now! No, I'm the one that should be thankful. Work hard. Do you need anything? Do you know when I feel the happiest while working as a peddler? I'm assuming it's when it's profitable. When I see the product properly. I feel best when I find something precious among the things laid out randomly at the country market. Then isn't it a big gain? You can buy it cheap and sell it. I can't do that. A good product must be bought at a good price. But the other person didn't know. But I knew. What if you're wrong? And then I have only my poor eyes to blame. Aren't you being too nice in doing business? It's been a really long time since I've heard that I'm nice. Don't worry, it's a matter of my convictions rather than how nice I am. 
I earn enough to get by. Do you need anything? Nope, I'm good now. Actually, my physical body needs something. I will be back in a moment.
<sighs> oh, you got back just as I was leaving, did you? Oh, isn't that luck? One second. Gonna put my Fitbit on the charger. There we go. I'm back. Okay. So it avoids the moonlight. Need to find information about the moonflower. All right, let's get this started. The moonflower. People have died from reading too many books, haven't they? So much for all that confidence. I actually have a disease that kills me if I read too many books, you know. Stop complaining and keep searching. You've only gone through three books so far. Only? Come on, look at the size of these books. It's too much work. Can't you read instead? You sure you want me to do that? Of course. We're friends, right? Well, looks like the next few lines are about the moonflower. What? Really? Let's see here. Bitter grape tea tree. Bitter grape tea tree. That's the tree we saw at the summit. The glowing one. The glow came from the blue moon butterflies. Hmm. The tea leaves, blah, blah, blah. Tastes like grapes. Strong bitter taste. Oh, here it is. Blah, blah, blah. It's also famous for its flowers, the moonflower. Moonflower! So it was here. There's still more information. Hmm. It gathers moonlight most of the time, and on a moonless night, the moonflower blooms. A moonless night? But the tree at the summit had blue moon butterflies flying around. So the moonflower couldn't bloom because of the moonlight emitted by the blue moon butterflies. So if we get rid of the blue moon butterflies, then the moonflower will bloom. Yeah, it's commonly used method back in Lucerine or two. Gather moonlight with the blue moon butterflies, shoo them away, and collect the moonflower. All right, let's get rid of the blue moon butterflies then. Make Lunar's oil and remove the prickly vines. But what do we do to get rid of the blue moon butterflies? They don't like sunlight, so a sunlight potion should work. All right, let's make a sunlight potion then. All right, sunlight potion. I need witch flower extract, maple herb extract, and squishy chub for extract. So I need to get some more witch's flower in the morning. A dream! Luckily, witch's flower is easy to find around here.
Excuse me. I just want a little bit more maple herb. should be enough. I seem to be getting Facebook messages, or at least I hear something going on my phone. Sorry, I just have to take care of a couple of things. Uh, I was sent a link. And I just need to check real quick. Okay, I will check that later. I was also sent a link from headset which I'm going to check since I see that the hentai hoodie is now hentai sneakers headset thank you for sending me that I'll never be mentally the same again <laughs> Feel free to shut that link into memes and fuckery on the Discord. Oh. 
I hit my vape a little too hard after seeing those sneakers and made myself cough. Oof. Damn. <laughs> Wait, I should read the... By fire and clockwise. and hold to craft. Please come out, right? Yay! I did it! I already have the ingredients. First is mean flour. <clears throat> do you really want to go now? Did you do everything you want to do? Not yet. I still have stuff to do. Stop wasting time then. If you're done, let's talk to River and go. I wonder if I should take a nap first. Gonna wait for Rubrum to come out of the house. Cause Peppa Fox is slow. The first warning about the shoes is that anime was in the link. The uh, the thing is though, I didn't even have to read the link because there is a preview image of the shoes on Skype. So I literally opened Skype and navigated to our conversation, and the first thing I see is... Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm liking it a lot so far. It's very relaxing. <laughs> and yeah, I'd love to see what the TRA Pokemon looks like too. Um... Give me a second. Let me open Discord, actually. I'm going to put a Pokemon community game channel under game-specific chat. It is so cute. It's very, very relaxing. Unless Rubberm is, is very, very adorable. The shoes from memes and fuckery. <coughs> okay, game specific chats. Create channel. Pokemon community game. Let me just 
in that message for now. Mm -hmm. You didn't delete your gift, did you, Shell, in Pokemon Community Game? Nope, there it is. <laughs> the gif is fine. I like that gif. It's a very cute gif. <laughs> yeah, I think it was two cannon. Let me scroll up and see. Pichu was the tier B, which I caught, but Shell and I both missed the tier A earlier. Yes, it was two cannon. Are we going to the peak now? Yes, we're going to the peak now. <clears throat> Great, they're stuck to the tree as expected. Wow, there are tons of shining butterflies. You're going to make them all go away now, right? I feel so bad for them all of a sudden. It's for the tree's sake. Hurry up and sprinkle the potion. Okay, here goes. That was more of a throw than a sprinkle, but okay. Just screen cap it. Yeah. Just screen cap its info page and post it. <laughs> and Shelly, you can do the same thing for the shiny that you caught the last time. <coughs> wow, it's beautiful. Where are those butterflies going? Wouldn't they go back to where they came from? But the flower... Oh, over there, over there. Oh, I love this music. I'm going to go try to sleep. Okay, bye. Thank you for coming. It's really, really beautiful. Now we can just pick up Moonflower and make Lunar's Oil. Rubem, can you go to the prickly vines and wait for us there? We'll come as soon as the moon oil is ready. Oh, okay. I'll be waiting in front of the vines. I love the music in this section. All right. Ellie, I hope you haven't forgotten. For Lunar's Oil, you need Phoenix Feather. There's no way we can find a Phoenix around here. We have a Phoenix Feather right here. You told me all about it earlier. What? Oh, that's not a good idea. If we do that, we might not be able to get back on the train. We might not make it to High Lion. A witch is always ready to help, starting with the one who needs it the most. That again? You just like it here better. Well, of course. You just don't like the witch's house in High Lion. That's true. Stop being childish. You're gonna regret it later. Mm, no, Virgil. What I will regret is not doing this right now. I'm sure of it. You have to be smart about this. Mm. Powder made from burning phoenix feathers. It sparkles bright red due to heat and magic. Great! I have all the ingredients now. Ellie, you're worse than Arya sometimes. Oh, please. I'm nowhere near as good as my mother. 
That wasn't a compliment. Your face isn't a compliment. All right, now let's make Lunar's Oil. I think High Lion is pronounced High Lion. It might be, but I like pronouncing it High Lion. Because the lion got high. <laughs> the lion likes its nip. Anyway. <laughs> Actually, this happens a lot when I read words instead of um, hearing them. And even when I do hear them, because sometimes just because I heard them doesn't mean I heard them. Uh, and it come and, and it come it causes funny word associations like that sometimes. I'm probably pronouncing it incorrectly, but I'm still amused by the mental image of a lion leaning back in the bushes on the savanna with a giant blunt between the between his paw pads, between his toe pads on one paw. <laughs> like Fuck yeah, I'm the king of the savannah. In my own mind. <laughs> hmm. All right. No stirring and a stage one fire. Good thing I checked. Oops. I'm sure I got that on. Moonflower water and phoenix feather powder. What? Stage one fire, no stirring. Why isn't it working? Does it have to be in the right order? That would be heckin' ridiculous. No, that's not why. Why isn't it working? It does, doesn't it? Because for some reason, even though I thought I'd done that right, I let myself get distracted. Good thing you don't lose your ingredients, though. The Lunar's Oil is ready. Let's go get rid of the prickly vine now. <clears throat> I'm here. Now let's hurry up and get rid of those annoying vines. Um. Hmm. Did you happen to suffer somehow because of me? Don't worry about that. <laughs> this was my choice. 
what I really wanted to do. And this is my choice. <coughs> Thanks, Ellie. Mm. It's no big deal. You can come to the witch's house anytime you want. Are you going to stay here? Yeah, I think I'll keep staying here as an apprentice. Really? Really? Really. Keep up the good work, Rubrum. Okay, I'll keep up the good work too, Ellie. Hurry up and go home for now. Your grandma must be worried. I'll find you later. Okay, see you in a bit. Quit acting like a saint. This place seems fun to you, that's all. Virgil, try not to say stuff that makes me sound like a bad guy, will you? It's a happy ending for all if I have fun and they're happy, isn't it? Will the teachers get angry? Like mother, like daughter, that's what they'll say. Well, that's great. I already told you, it's not a compliment. Alright, let's head to the village now. I've finally arrived at the village. Yeah, it's a village. What kind of village would it be? I hope for a lot of fun things happened here. There would be a lot of annoying things to take care of. I was always expecting something like that. Let's hurry up and go. Hmm. It's quite a dull sight. Virgil. House of village that you have to stay in for three years. Do you feel like going back to High Lion again? What the heck happened here? What's this evil prickly vine? I'm so excited. I don't even know where to start. And something seems strange. It's strange for anyone to see the prickly vines growing only on houses. No, that's not what I mean. It feels like I've been here before for some reason. What kind of useless double meaning is that? There's no way you've ever been here. They don't come this far for the witch school picnic. Something feels familiar. Let's find Rudum first. Oh, Ellie! Thanks for helping me get home. That's nothing special. But it really looks like no one's in the village. Yes, many of them left after the prickly vines have grown. Now we only have Uncle Arden's in my house. I see. You must be bored. No, it's okay, because Grandma and Uncle Arden are here. There are also lots of fun things in the forest. Oh, Grandma wants to meet you. Grandma? Yeah, she's the village chief. She's the village chief. And they say not in these times, but she's still the village chief. She's right behind me. Okay, I'll go. Okay, take care. Welcome, witch. You've done a great job with helping my grandchild. Thank you. No, I'm the one who received help. You can speak comfortably. I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. Many witches look different from their age. Alright, I shall speak comfortably, Ellie. Welcome to Wisteria. I'm Enid, chief of this village. Even though both the village chief and the village are in bad shape. What happened in this village? What are all those prickly vines? Did you take a look around the village? Yes, I saw the houses covered with prickly vines. They didn't look like ordinary prickly vines. One day, three years ago, one day, three years ago, those prickly vines started to grow all of a sudden and destroyed the houses one by one. Why did the prickly vines start growing all of a sudden? 
actually. There were already prickly vines growing in the village. And the white prickly vine at the village entrance was the one originally growing in the village. But I only saw the prickly vines that started growing for the first time three years ago. At first, they were saying things like God's punishment, monster, or witch's curse. Wipe off your drool, Ellie. This is a serious story. And there were lots of rumors, but no one actually knew why. And they started growing all of a sudden without any explanation. What happened to the villagers? Nobody was hurt. The prickly vines grew fast for a plant, but not fast enough to hurt anyone. Even so, people who had no place to live anymore left the village inevitably. Now only Arden and I are left to protect the village. Don't worry now. I'll help you. I'll remove the prickly vines and bring the villagers back together. Thank you so much for saying that. But it's too late now. What? All the houses have been ruined already and everyone left. It's not a village, but two old people with a lot of regrets are protecting the ruins. Ellie, you should also leave now. It's better to go to the place you were originally planning to go. But... I'm not forcing you. You can stay in the village as long as you want. But leave when the train comes. This place is not a village anymore. That can't happen! My lion is boring as hell! Virgil, bad word! Ellie. And there are no more people here. Even if the prickly vines are removed, nothing remains. This is still a village. Even the people who had left would want to come back. Even if the prickly vines disappear, why would they come back to a village like this? Everyone would want to come back. But Ellie, people left and time has passed. I don't think those driven out by the prickly vines will ever want to come back to these ruins. No, they definitely want to come back. It's a wonderful village that you have been cultivating all your life and eat. I can't let the village get taken away by these weird prickly vines. Yeah, you're right, but... Let's go to sleep for today and talk again tomorrow. I'm... You look tired, too. Rurum looks like he needs to rest as well. Okay. Don't scold Rubem too much. Yeah, okay. Get some rest. You too, Anit. Moving flower near the lake? Interesting. What are you trying to do? Anita's right. It requires a lot of imagination to call this place a village. It's still a village, even if there are no houses. Yeah, but it's not a village if there are no people. The people will come back. How can you be so sure? This is your first time in this village. If you're just being ridiculous. No, I definitely heard it. The villagers want to come back. Where did you hear it? You didn't even see a villager. That, I don't know. Maybe I heard it in a dream. That's absurd. No. It's absurd. No, it isn't. It's the village that Anit has lived in for all her life. Other people would also have loved the village as much as Anit. You know, you also just met Anit for the first time. I can tell even if we met for the first time. There was some kind of throbbing feeling. Who would fix the house even if the prickly vines are removed? There are two old people and one child remaining. You're right, Virgil. Correct. 
you need a carpenter to fix the house. The first person returning has to be a carpenter. Yeah, I wish the carpenter could fly if possible. It'd be nice to also have about six arms. Don't be sarcastic, Virgil. I guess you should have a deep dream in order to meet that kind of carpenter. Stop being sarcastic. Did you meet the flying carpenter? I don't know. It seems like I did have a dream, but I don't remember anything. Are you nervous or something, since this is your first day as an apprentice witch? Of course not. So are you ready to start your first day as an apprentice witch? Of course! Do you know what to do? Now let me ask what Anit thinks first. <coughs> Oh, gear. Mm. Oh, that was rough. We'll check out the carpenter's house and try to get rid of the prickly vines. Remember that we don't have any phoenix feather left. It'll work out somehow. Let's go to Anit first. Hi, who are you? Hello! <coughs> Excuse me, that wasn't the right voice for her. Let me blow my nose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the witch's catalog that gives you the most inexpensive products at the best prices this is diane greenwind who brings happiness nice to meet you yes hello i'm ellie an apprentice witch yes nice to meet you ellie what i must help you with today is oh you're registering for the first time. Yes, that's right. It must have been inconvenient for you to not be able to use the witch's catalog. Just a minute. Okay, thank you for waiting. So, I need to see the Master Witch before registering. Is she inside? Mm, the Master Witch? Yep, I need the Master Witch's signature to register in the witch's catalog. Oh, that's, um, I'm... Hey, Ellie. Mm hmm? Fooling around while I'm out? You didn't forget to register with them. Huh? Oh no, I didn't forget. Of course not. Oh, I guess the Master Witch is at someplace else right now. Are you talking through that hat? Uh, yes. Stay quiet, Ellie. You unfinished dumb hat of a little rascal. Why can't you even do one thing properly? I told you to tell me when the Witch's Catalog employee comes. I'm sorry. I was just about to tell you. Oh, sure. Then I guess Ellie can just sign instead because the Master Witch is here. You'll also receive a gift if you join now. Wow, a gift? What is it? A witch's broom that's easy to use. A witch's broom? Finally. You can just sign here and here. Okay. I'm getting annoyed with doing that perky voice. It's literally giving me a fucking headache. Uh, the technique to make that one makes my sinuses feel tight and gives me a headache after a while. Okay, every morning a witch is in the catalog employee will come. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Just purchase the items you need during that time. We do not accept gold coins, we only accept Luna coins. 
Lunacoin is a currency in which society. It's called Lunacoin because it's made with an ore with the power of the moon. How do I earn Luna Coins? The Witch Administration is running a service to purchase potions to prepare for such incident. Please let us know at any time since we purchase regardless of type. Okay, cool. And there's also a special potion delivery service. Every day of the week, we buy potions at a higher price. You can select one out of the three in the list provided and deliver within two days. But since we're buying at a higher price, don't lose the nice opportunity. Okay. Good, good. Oh, which is broom. Anyway. No, you know, poor acting skills not the problem. It's the fact that Master Witch is not here. The Master Witch must be at the Witch's house. We can't just have an apprentice witch. And you just keep acting. How long will it work? And there's still the matter of the witch who was originally here at this witch's house. It'd be nice if we knew who that witch was. And the witch who was originally here could also be someone with malice. Let's ask the villagers later on. Let's deliver potions with the room for now. I need to get to a neat. Okay. Which one's the broom again? B. Okay. Okay, I'm pressing B and not riding my broom. Okay, that's why. well I thought about it yesterday but I'm still not sure the villagers yeah you mean they would want to come back right I don't know why you're more confident than me when I lived my whole life in this village even so I decided to believe in that happy thought really if you get rid of the prickly vines, I'll try to contact the resident who was living in that house. But if that resident refuses... Don't worry, because it won't happen. Ellie, you are so nice. Everything will be fine. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. I guess so. So who should we get first? 
Was there a carpenter in the village by any chance? Because I think the first thing we need is a carpenter in order to fix the houses. Of course. The house at the upper left side of the central fountain of the village belongs to Kyla, our carpenter. Then it would be better to remove the prickly vines from Kyla's house first. And that would be better. If you get rid of the prickly vines, I'll try to contact Kyla. Leave it to me. Okay, I'll leave it to you. You're doing me a favor. Alright, let's get this started. Keep in mind that we don't have information, nor do we have a phoenix. The first thing to do is to collect information. Let's look around Kyla's house once and collect the information. Let's think about the phoenix later. Would that be okay? This must be the house of the person named Kyla. It's in the same condition as the other houses. If you don't get rid of the prickly vines, there's no point in rebuilding the house. Now that we know the location, let's ask other villagers. The prickly vines in the villagers aren't white prickly vines. I should gather information to find out what kind of prickly vine it is. this way okay fair enough I'm probably only going to stream for about another hour or so anyway I want to get the uh, first villager back and then uh, and then probably wrap up after that. <clears throat> Hello Ellie, would you like to join? Any interesting stories? prickly vine in the village is not so good. Not so good. It's bitter, spicy, and not tasty. It also smells fishy. You ate it? Yes, I drank it by drawing it as tea. I dried and roasted it by pickling only thorns, and it was hard. I guess you drink everything as tea. There are so many delicious tea ingredients in the forest. I like apple bush because it's sweet. Grandma says the bird flower tea smells good. I'll also make some delicious tea for you, Ellie. Okay, I'll look forward to it. Oh, I remembered. It tasted similar to that thing. It also tasted similar to white prickly vine and little honey pumpkin in the forest. I guess you also tried drinking all of them. White prickly vine has good scent. Hmm, if it tastes similar, can you see it as a similar breed? Thanks anyway, it was helpful. Alright, come over for some tea next time. <laughs> I have to find a neat. More than one other guy. Arden. That was the guy. <laughs> You're a witch. Yes, I'm Ellie, an apprentice witch. Hello. I'm Arden, a dragon and a cook. Did you help Rumrum? You're pretty kind. 
Don't mention it. Are you going to stay here? I think I'll end up doing so. Why are you staring at me like that? Ah, I'm sorry. It's my first time seeing a dragon with my own eyes. Normally, you wouldn't see one. Even Mum said that she seldom met a dragon. That's why I wasn't sure. But you're a real dragon. I never thought I'd meet a chef dragon in a place like this. Since dragons have no reason to mingle with humans. I think I was like that too. I can't tell you the reason even if you look at me with those eyes. Because I don't remember now. It's kind of weird to call it a reward. But tell me if you're hungry. Although it's usually not for free. Okay, sure. This is for helping Rubrum. Take it, since it's free. Beef bread. Nice. Actually, I've made something like that before. It is actually pretty good. It's like ground beef wrapped in pastry. Thing. I've made it before. I can't remember the exact recipe. I made it and I intended to make it again, but then I never did. <laughs> now I can't even remember what's in it, but I remember that I liked it a lot. It's the last one remaining. Hey, you. Did you promise to get rid of these prickly vines? Yes, that's right. Yeah. But will you be able to do it? Of course. I'll bring the village back to its former appearance. But some confidence. Okay. What's going on? The prickly vines of the village? Yes, just in case you know something. Well, I don't know much about the prickly vine. I just feel the malice filled in it. Malice? The prickly vines that only destroy houses? It's so unnatural. If it's not someone's malice... What would it be? Is there someone who would do such a terrible thing? I don't know. Well, <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know anything. How about searching through the witch's house at least? Okay, sure. Oh, and on the way to the witch's house, please do me a favor. What kind? I lost a bag containing an important ingredient. I think I lost it somewhere near the water. Please try to find it for me. I remember carrying it into the village. Okay. I'll try to find it. That was Arden. Oh, the bag was right here. Hey, Anit, talk to me for a second. The morning wind feels good. Do you have something to say? When it first appeared, I tried very hard to get rid of it. I tried an axe and also set it on fire, but it was useless. No matter how I made the scar, it healed quickly. That resembles the white prickly vine. Isn't that right? But the white prickly vine disappeared completely when there was a full moon. And these vines didn't disappear even when there was a full moon. It's as strong as the white prickly vine, but doesn't disappear in the moonlight. That's strange. We thought so too. I mean, it is the providence of nature that if there are strong places, there are also weak places. And this is all I know. I'm sorry I couldn't be of much help. No, it's okay. It was helpful enough. Alright, I think I asked everyone. And Neat said it has similar characteristics as white prickly vine. Rubrum said it tastes like little honey pumpkin. And it's probably also similar to little honey pumpkin. Arden didn't tell me anything in particular. You said it was someone's malice. 
Seeing a prickly mine that can destroy and get rid of a house is enough to make you think so. It seems that Arden thinks it's the witch's work. Witch's curse? In a world like today? That's an old-fashioned way of thinking. You wouldn't think so if you've been to Lucerine or two. But the witches of the old days are still alive. <laughs> let's find the culprit later. I think... Let's think about Kyla's house first for now. Let's also go look through the witch's house like Arden suggested. I think I might have seen something related to the prickly vine in the witch bookshelf on the first floor. have to give Arden his bag back. There's the bag. Pepper. more beef bread. That's not bad. It's useful, in fact. Oh, and how much is mm -hmm. Welcome back, headset. that was gradually disappearing started to come to life. So never give up on this village. Okay, don't worry. I'll never give up on it, no matter what happens. You sound reliable. By the way, did you happen to bring the thing you promised last time? Of course. Are you talking about Yakun Melon? No. You promised the roaster handle to use for the roaster. I'm kidding. Of course I brought it. But since this guy broke his leg, I don't think I can bring proper products for a while. Oh, really? I feel sorry for him. Thank you for your concern, but don't worry. It'll get better soon. The things on sale would be trivial things. Instead, I have a good offer for each other. Do you want to hear it? Sure! What is it? As you can see, since Wisteria is not an environment to bring good products. I'll make it better soon. Yeah, but I didn't mean it that way. However, there is a good witch here. I want to use the witch to our advantage. Is there such a witch here? That's what I'm saying. I can't see even from up here. I'm pretty confident with my eyes, whether it might be a person or a thing. So, Ellie, I want to leave the work to you. What do you think? Naturally, you'll also receive proper wages, since good things deserve good prices. Really? For me? Really? For her? Yeah. I think I'll ask for potion or animal and plant gathering here. How does that sound? Of course! I like it! Naturally, I'll also look at the quality of products properly. And that's because good things deserve good prices. Listen carefully, Ellie. It means a bad price for bad products. And just like the talking hat said, therefore, it's Virgil, a hat that deserves a bad price. <laughs> Keep up the good work, Ellie and Virgil. Okay, we'll work hard. And then, can I talk about work right away? Of course! Since I'm not a witch, I will only sell the candies that can be used by non-witches. Since I basically buy them all the time, come and buy them anytime. And you do need a lot of potions from time to time. 
Can you make 10 healing candy in just one day? And that's kind of hard, isn't it? I also have to talk to the person who buys it. If I need that many potions, I'll tell you one day in advance. In this case, I'll be able to buy it for more expensive price than usual. Wow, that's nice. Instead, you must deliver after making a promise. That's because trust is important. If you think you can't because of other things, then just say you can't. Okay. So, can I ask for one right away? Let's see here. I need two healing candy by tomorrow. Alright, I'll have it ready until tomorrow. And please note that delivery is possible until tomorrow. Because promises are important. Okay, I need to make two healing candy. And that requires witch flower and maple herb. Stage four and clockwise. Need branches and mud, apparently. Hmm. I forgot to look at the book signs.
The first dew of spring, the red moon butterfly, the fourth dawn of summer. Mm. Mix well and put in the desired plant seeds to make a new plant. It's a method to combine the plant's characteristics. The prickly vines in the village must have been combined using this method. Alright, that's the end of that bottle of tea. From the information I heard, it seems to be a combination of little honey pumpkin and white prickly vine. And now... Wait, why is this book here? Someone's malice? But... Naturally, that book is not uncommon. It is a book that any witch who is interested in plants would have. Correct. It's merely a possibility. I mean, both of them. For now, this one has a priority. Which one? And the part that removes the prickly vines. Let's look through Kyla's house again. I'll ask you again. Do you need anything? Today's delivery is over. Do you need anything? No. Look at this. It's definitely shaped like a prickly vine shape and colored like a little honey pumpkin. Then that means the villagers couldn't get rid of this prickly mine because... Because you can't get rid of it unless you get rid of the core, just like Little Honey Pumpkin. You can get rid of the prickly mine if you get rid of the prickly mine core. Since it's a plant, the prickly mine and the core must be connected in some way. Look over there. The prickly mine is connected to the outside of the village. We can find the core if we follow that. Mm -hmm. Then I can sell it. For a high price, or would not carry it at all. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's a potion with the power of the moon among other potions. Speaking of the moon, you picked up a note last time, didn't you? Oh, the note written in ancient witch language. Now that I think about it, it looks like a recipe. How about decoding it first? Good idea. Let's decode that first. And it would be making moon something potion to remove the prickly vine nucleus. Diane would know if we ask her, right? One would know if one didn't fall asleep in class like you. I didn't fall asleep either. Follow the prickly vines. 
out of the village. And the prickly vine goes all the way up there, but there's no path. There has to be a way to get across. Get closer and take a look. <sighs> Withered bean sprouts. Oh, it dropped something. I just found a bird flower. What a bean sprout. Okay, never mind. There you are. Oh, there you were. Never mind. It can grow again with good nutrition. What the hell happened? Potion purchase service, yes. Recently there have been several reports of bad potions. Trust in the witch's catalog's potion quality. Trust in the administration. As a result, the administration issued a notice to each catalog salesperson to test the suspicious potions. The problem is, the witch's houses I'm in charge um uh, are related to the suspicious potions. As you know, Ellie, potion quality is also a matter of which a witch's confidence. You can't do it yourself, Diane. I need a witch to accompany with me with the test for certification. If it's all right, may I ask for your help? It's a small reward, but I made some nubicula cupcakes. <laughs> A nutrition potion. 
Oh, interesting. And a bird cage. I also caught a sprout bird. Okay. Born flowers of blooms. Hmm, moderate temperature, mild wind, and low humidity. Great. Fortunately, the potions here seem normal. It went well, right? Yes, we can relax now. At least one of them is normal. Here's their water promise. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. No, at the moment I actually don't have any potions for sale. I need... Oh no, I don't have enough coins. Can I do this fast enough? Please let me be able to do this fast enough. That's still not enough. I need ten. This is ancient witch language. Can you read it? I remember learning it when I was attending school. So you're the only one who fell asleep in class. What does it say? Hmm. Moons. Moons? Moons. Moons. I can only read up to this. What? I forgot everything because it's been a while since I've learned it and I haven't used it either. Oh. That's because Diane graduated a long time ago. What's your excuse? It hasn't been that long since I graduated either. Then is there any way to decode the ancient witch language? Of course there's a way! Really? Ancient witch language is definitely a subject you learn in school! So, there also must be knowledge on ancient witch language in Nelly's head! In short, it's not a matter of knowledge, but a matter of intelligence that brings it out! That hurt a little. Truth hurts. That's why I recommend the Enhanced Intellect Potion. Enhanced Intellect Potion? It raises your level of intelligence like memory, deduction, and language. Deciphering ancient witch language will be easy with better memory and deduction. Excuse me. Anyway.
I need 20 fucking points. I have eight. And what potions can I make? Literally just weed terminator. Okay. I just need to go get lots of witch flower and squishy chub. I don't think there's going to be any witches far this far out, but I'm going to look anyway. Okay. Nope. That's where I started. 
I already know I won't find any squishy chubs until morning. the squishy chub. Will I find squishy chubs? There's some squishy chubs. This one. To find more squishy jobs. Hey, the squishy chub squishy chubs are hiding over there. And they're still hiding over here too. Alright. Alright. They're hiding. I get it, they're hiding. I got a message. Do I have any more witch flower or squishy chub stuffs? I do.
Let me just check the directions. Stage four, no stir. Okay. Yeah, Twitch is slower than Skype. Potion that I can make today. But I want to learn the Pokemon Yakuza. Hello! Thank you for the follow. How are you doing tonight? Potion sales. Sell all. Look good. <laughs> all right. I need two more. Coins, which means I need. Actually, I just need Witch's Flower. Which is good since the squishy chubs are still hiding in their holes. Oh, wait, here's some. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some squishy chub fur. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. I'm just relaxing with a game that was recommended to me by a friend of mine. Let's see. Is there any witches far up here? No. Hmm. I may have to wait. Well, at least I can find out. Unless... Hmm. What do you think, chat? Should I get the nutrition potion first to make that plant grow? Or should I get the enhanced intellect potion first? Hmm. Actually, I think I'll get the nutrition potion. And the reason is because I can sell other potions to get more coins. And I do need to earn more coins. Yeah. Because so I can get more ingredients further out a field. So... Okay. The nutrition potion is now being registered. Okay. Bush bug extract. How do I get bush bugs? 
I have not found bush bugs yet. Or at least not... There we go. Caught with a net. So I have to buy a net. That's fine. to find a bush that I can shake. There. Got a bush bug. And there's a witch's flower so I can make more of the weed terminating potion. Got it. Okay, maple herb. And more maple herb. I need to get some more chalk, too. Should be able to do that shortly. that way yet. Up there is just a tree. So... to collect some branches too so I can finish fixing my room. bush bug and another bush bug there's quite a lot more witches flower blooming now that's good so I think that must mean it comes out twice a day
My inventory is full. Okay. Well, I need a quick five minute break anyway, so I will be right back and when I come back I will empty my inventory and continue with my work. All right, I'm back. Oh, okay. All right. Move that over, move that over. Maple herb. Let me check my recipe one more time. I need silver starbell pollen also. Okay, I need to figure out how to get that pollen. 
It's also caught by a net. And it's a nighttime plant. Okay. So tomorrow, all right, fully fixed broom. Silver star bells. You don't have enough stamina. Fuck. Bullshit, you're not sleepy yet. Okay, so potions that I can make right now, I think I can still make some more Weed Terminator. I need to collect some more Weed Terminator as well. I've got a couple of theories. I think one could have been uh, Ellie's mother. Another could have been somebody who maybe was jealous of Ellie's mother. But I feel like Ellie's mom is definitely connected to this village somehow. Collecting squishy chub fur. Ah, I still missed that one. For some reason, it wouldn't click. Okay. 
You like the jealousy idea? Uh, someone wanted to be better than Ellie's mom and wanted to go above and beyond. Yep. Ellie's mom would be the obvious answer, but somebody jealous of Ellie's mom would make an excellent story, and it's something that you don't see very often. Am I liking the game? I'm loving the game so far. I mean, I've been playing for four hours and only taken two pee breaks. I better go sell the potions that I have. Good. Now I have enough to buy the other <laughs> wow. There we go.
I need dried pumpkin terrier fur and bird flower water. I have both of those things. This game is very cute and it's relaxing. I love it. Okay, bird flower, move all. And pumpkin terrier fur, move all. I don't have a lot of pumpkin terrier fur. She needs to find the handle to do the roaster. I have an idea where there might be a handle, though. While I'm killing time. Unless I just need more terrier fur. I need the roaster handle. That's exactly how much gold I have, too. Oh, my bag seems to be full. Well, you know what? I've got plenty of time. To wait till night to collect the flowers anyways so i can go down to the workplace that I needed a terrier fur and the bird flower water and for that I needed okay gonna 
put everything away for now. Except for those things. Now I go back into town. Damn it. What a waste. Okay, out of stamina. That's fine. Can you go to the work place? Welcome back. I don't remember if I needed that. Pretty sure I needed that. I'll pull that out too. And make some bush bug extract.
Let me check my recipe. Nutrition potion. Stage three and clockwise. And, oh damn. Starbell, maple, and bush bud. Okay, a nutrition potion. And the next recipe. The bird flower and pumpkin terrier, stage three, no stirring. second. Okay, I'm gonna get some sleep for now. Anyway. Intellect potion. How do I use it? Drink with right trigger. What do you think? Do you think you became a little smarter? The earth is round. The earth is flat. If it's round, how do people below or next to it stand up? What? That's because the earth is pulling the objects above it. And the reason why such force appears is... Don't be silly and read the damn note. Although I'm not sure if you really became smart. And the ancient witch language is simple. Tears of the moon. A bunch of moonflower and a cup of sacred water. It is, comp it is completed by boiling the juice from moonflower and sacred water while stirring clockwise over low heat. It's simpler than I thought. Wait, there's more writing. Um, it was made because it was difficult to manage with lunar's oil. I can't read anymore. I guess the medicine's wearing off. But I've still read the important information. But the sacred water, where can we get that? From shrines, but I think you have mine. Okay, that's fine. All right. Ask about sacred water. So a little expensive. How expensive? 150 luna coins. That's too expensive. I can't help it because it's a precious ingredient. And can you sell on credit? Selling on credit is kinda... I really need that ingredient now. Would it be possible? Hmm. 
Surety is not possible, but guarantee is possible. I've made the decision. I'll give you the sacred water on credit. Is that all? Sure. And she's second class. Doesn't first class usually come out here? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. I have the sacred water now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So... Sacred water and moonflower water. Oh no, looks like you're going to need to get a new hat. Either that or Ellie needs to have a long talk with her mom about the hat. Yep. <laughs> There's the moonflower water. I better check the recipe. Fire to two, ladle right. Got it! Excuse me. There we go, it grew. Can't go up that far yet, so that's fine. now. That's good. And I'm over the waterfall. I don't have the right chalk for that, but that's okay. There's a cave there. What is that? Smile bubble.
anyway. Here. There's another smile lizard. Okay, back to the task at hand. Now that I'm done petting all the critters. Why do I feel like I've just been brought in a circle? This is definitely the area by my house. What is the sound? It's too noisy! I'm sure the Gaga bird would make it sound like this if we hang it upside down. It's a real Gaga bird. Oh wait, that one isn't hanging upside down though. The Gaga bird is crazy. Maybe for the bird that's upside down. We continue to the forest to find the Gaga bird. I need an earmuff potion, don't I? Oh, good thing I have another nutrition potion. What was this? I don't know, but I'm collecting it. Wetland grass. white chalk. I'm sure that's useful. I need to go make potions. the right chalk for that. That's fine.
My inventory is full. How's my inventory full? Got the bush bag. Oops. Got that. Inventory is still full. But I'm super smart. Okay. I only have one wet and flat grass right now, so that's fine. I think wetland grass water, it looks like I only need one. There's something I can do with the cran apples too. Okay, I can't actually do anything with the button and grass yet. That's fine.
Are granules edible? Indeed. Okay, good to know. Pressure check! <clears throat> Stretch. Okay, quick sleep. It's a kitty. Okay, and into the roaster, we'll make some dried pumpkin terrier fur, over here, one, two, Any bird fire water in it, so that's okay. Looks like I can already make some sunlight potion too. Okay, let's see what potions I can make. I'm put that away for now. Wishy Chub and Witch Flower. Okay, I need Maple Herb and Bush Bug. And it's stage three and clockwise. the sunlight potion. Let's switch flower, maple herb, and squishy cub. Stage five and clockwise.
All right, see you soon. Sale. Yes, please. Thank you. I need a hair mouth potion. Nutrition potion I was only selling for two, so that's fine. Damn it. One eyed frog roast? Where do I get one eyed frog? Litton grass water and moon moon butterfly extract? Oh gosh, this is gonna be rough. <sighs> Find one eyed frogs. Welcome back, headset. Okay. Definitely found some wetland grass. Where do I find one-eyed frogs? Are dangle mangoes food, I wonder? Can I eat them if my stamina goes low?
Okay, good. Dango mangoes are edible. for one-eyed frogs. And I don't know where I might find one-eyed frogs. Luckily, wet and grass isn't too hard to find now that I know what I'm looking for. Is in here. There's clearly something in here. Thank you. 
Got it. don't have the right chalk. Well, I am almost five hours into stream, so I think this might be almost a good time to call it a night. I will definitely be coming back to this, though. Hmm. Same. Well, I'm still saving anyway. Tonight, I'm really enjoying this game. I am interested in the story. The designs are cute. This is an interesting, interesting game. And I'm really glad that Shell pointed it out to me while... Uh, while it was on sale. Hey. It's going to be either Atlas or Balance. Let's see what both of them are doing tonight. Ads, 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 ads. Looks like Shell's already in Balance's stream. 
So let's head over to balance. Kingdom balance. Oh, wow. Wait. Kingdom balance. Not whatever the hell I just typed. Okay, everybody stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, most importantly of all, stay weird. And I will see you next time. Good night.